still a long winter, though. The heat might feel pretty good. But you've heard all the warnings, you know, over and over again about animals and children left in cars unattended. ABC 6 News reporter Devin Martin went out tonight to feel the heat in the neighborhoods. Just take care of yourself and your family, especially these very hot days that are few and far between in Minnesota. It's going to be a hot weekend, but that isn't stopping families from going out to the park and enjoying their time with their loved ones. Drinking lots and lots of water. Show them how it's done, honey. Just like that. So when the, when the cheeks get rosy red like that, just keep giving them water. But all jokes aside, Russell cares about his daughter, Aurora, and wants to make sure as she's playing in the park that she's hydrated and safe. And I never leave my kid in the car with, with, uh, alone. I mean, she's only five years old, but... Um, they're, they're pretty self-sufficient. You just got to check on them and t yell at them once in a while and say, hey, come take a drink of water, even though they think they don't need it. Ben Davis with Rochester Fire agrees. Stay hydrated, but also be aware if your kid is in the car. He says when temperatures reach up past 90 degrees, in a matter of minutes, your car temperature can reach up to 130 degrees, and that can kill in just minutes. So it's a good thing to set reminders like, you know, a, a reminder on your cell phone or a note. Sheriff Torgerson agrees. Reminders are good, but if you see an animal in a car or a kid, pick up the phone and call for help. 911 first, then begin rescue efforts after that. And staying cool is in this summer. Just ask this little one. She has some good tips. Take breaks in the shade, not the sun, because the sun could get you sunburned. Amen, girl. In Rochester, Devin Martin, ABC 6 News.